Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw the Santa Clara mission. Now this one is kind of complicated so we're going to take it slow and we're going to draw the main sections first. Take one finger on the left and put a dot. And from that dot we're going to draw a slightly wavy, wavy, wavy line all the way from the left side of your paper to the right. Right here about in the middle I'm going to draw a straight line down, straight diagonal up, straight diagonal down, straight line down. I'm going to come back up and I'm going to mimic the line. So I put a little straight line on the left, little straight line on the right. Come back to the left and draw a straight diagonal up to our dot, put a little straight line down, straight line down on the right, connect. Now on the right hand side I'm going to draw a straight diagonal down, straight line down. I'm going to mimic the top line again. Straight diagonal down, connect. Now on the right hand side I'm going to draw another wavy wavy line to the edge of my paper and I'm going to come up above and draw another wavy wavy line to the right hand side of my paper. I come on the left hand side and I'm going to draw a straight line down, straight line over, straight line all the way down, connect. I come up to the top and I draw a little rectangle at the top and right here in the center I draw a straight line, little straight line, straight line down, come out, little straight line and make a diagonal line down, connect on the right. And I'm going to do a little straight line down, straight diagonal down on the left right and the center. I'm going to draw a curved line and draw some little curved lines inside. Straight line, straight line. I come down and I draw a straight line up, curve line over, straight line connect, straight line up, curve line over, straight line connect. Underneath I'm going to draw one, two, straight lines. I come right in the center and I draw a skinny rectangle up, connect, and down here at the very bottom I'm going to draw straight line up, straight line over, straight line down, straight line in the center, one, two little straight lines. Okay, now we're ready to do the inside. Now this is very intense so you got to take it slow and follow along with me and I hope I don't mess up. Okay, so I start at the bottom and I draw straight line, straight line, straight line, connect. Right above it I'm going to draw a curve line over. Inside I'm going to draw a circle. Then I'm going to draw a straight line down the center one little straight line, two little straight lines. Around that I'm going to draw a straight line, straight line, straight line, connect. I'm going to mimic that line again. So I draw a straight line down, bring it up, straight line over, straight line down, connect. On the left hand side I'm going to draw a skinny rectangle, straight line, straight line on the left, in a skinny rectangle, straight line, straight line on the right. Above the left one I'm going to draw an oval and I'm going to draw an oval on the right. And then I'm going to draw a wavy, wavy line down, connect on the left, wavy, wavy line down, connect on the right. I'm going to do the same thing on the right. Wavy, wavy line down, connect, wavy, wavy line down, connect on the right. I come inside the skinny rectangle on the left and I draw another oval on the left and another oval 
on the right. I go back to the left and I'm going to connect straight line down, straight line over, straight line up, connect on the left, and I'm going to do the same thing on the right. Straight line down, straight line over, straight line up on the right. I come back to the left and I'm going to draw another skinny rectangle on the left, skinny rectangle on the right, come back to the left, draw a straight line down, straight line down on the left, straight line down, straight line down on the right. Now I come back to the center and I'm just going to draw like a peanut on the left, curve line, curve line on the right. In the center I draw a straight line, straight line over, straight line down. Inside I do it again, straight line, straight line over, straight line down, and I'm going to draw a wavy, wavy line inside. I come on the left and I draw straight line, curve line on the right also. Now I come up to the very top and uh, right here at the peak I'm going to draw a triangle, then I'm going to draw a straight line, straight line, straight line, connect, and inside I'm going to draw another wavy, wavy line down and down. I come back up to the top of my triangle and I draw wavy line down on the left, wavy line down on the right, then a wavy line down at the bottom. All of these little peanut things are sculptures, but I don't have enough room to draw all of it, so I'm just giving you the illusion. I come over here on the right, and I draw a straight line, straight line, straight line down, connect. Draw a straight line in the center, one little straight line, two little straight lines. Right above, I'm going to draw a curved line over, and inside I'm going to mimic that line again. Okay, now I come on the left hand side, I'm going to jump all the way over and I'm going to draw another wavy line to the left side of my paper and I'm going to draw it again on the left. Okay, right at the very top in the center I draw straight line, straight line. Now I come over here on the right, put a dot, Draw me in, out, in, out, in, out, connect. In, out, in, out, in, out, connect. In, out, connect. Straight line, straight line. Now I'm going to draw a bigger one. In, out, in, out, in, out, connect. In, out, in, out, in, out, connect. In, out, in, out, in, out, connect. Straight line down, straight line down. Now I come on the left hand side, put a dot, straight line in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out on top, straight line, straight line, and now a taller one, put a dot, straight line out, 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 connect, straight line down, straight line down. Okay, this isn't exact. This gives you the illusion of that mission. And the important thing right now is how to color. Okay, there are so many things going on in this drawing. The first thing I want to do is do all my darks. So I got my crayons out and I found some different colored browns. So this section should be dark brown. This part should be dark brown. The skinny rectangle should be dark brown. And this section should be dark brown. And I'm going to do the sculptures dark brown, just so that you know they are different than the rest of the building. And, whoops, I forgot my stairs. Down at the bottom, I'm sorry. I'm going to go one, two, three straight lines on the center. Come on the left, one, two, three straight lines. Come on the right, one, two, three straight lines. I had to draw those because I'm going to put my dark brown in between those lines. 
So these are stairs. Okay. Now I'm going to use a tan and come in and do my windows, my niches, my doors, my outside parts of my sculpture niches, these little sections, this over here on the left, do my siding, this over here on the right, do my siding, this in the center. Okay. Now, I forgot a sculpture, so I'm going to do this dark. I'm going to come in now with a peach and I'm going to do all the way around everything that isn't colored in. Now this isn't a perfectly white mission. This is more of a terracotta color, beigey color. So everything that I don't color in dark, I'm going to color in peach. If you don't have peach, you can use your brown very lightly but you don't want it to be too white white. Come down and do this section, this section. Let me color in my doors. I forgot my doors. So it's kind of complicated as you can see to get everything the way you want it to be. Take it slow. The last part to do are my palm trees. Now I have a lesson called how to draw a palm tree. So if you don't know how to draw a palm tree you can refer to that lesson. But right here, I'm just going to make this part tan, both sides, and then I'm going to color in my leaf part dark green, give it a little pop of color. And then I'm going to take my beige again, and I'm going to color the wall up and down. And I'm going to give a loop-de-loop -loop going around the bottom, all the way around. And I'm going to color the top part of my wall that darker brown. So again, if you take your time and do it slow, pause in between the sections if you need to. This one is really complicated. That's probably why it was requested. Now as the last touch, I'm just going to use a dark blue and I'm going to do a loop-de-loop -loop line, which is a good fill line. And the first thing I do is I go all the way around the structure. So it has a movement to it and adds a little bit of texture in the background. All the way across, then you work yourself back up and around. and because I forgot. I'm going to do this very tippy top part on the tower green. And that is because it looks to me as though it's bronze and it's turned in the weather. Okay, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Here's my mission all colored in. Like I said, it's not exact. It's a representation of the Mission Santa Clara. Uh, it took me a couple of times to get it, so if you don't get it exact the first time, try, try again. Okay, bye-bye.